But this thing is <laughs> mental. But that's how I've always looked at it. Just each bike you ever get is the best bike you ever had. Look, oh, I'm not <laughs> sure what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, Hannah. So dope. So here's a white van. Is it our home? I really don't know. Let me check. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, hey, this is our home. There's a lot of freaking vans here right now. And they all look the same. Yeah, it's kind of comforting. I don't know. Yeah. We have a lot of neighbors. Well, as you guys can tell, this is clearly our van because it is a mess. And we got the jar of pretzels. That's how we know it's our van. So you guys, we did make it to Sedona for Sedona Fest. Really excited to be back out here. One thing I love about mountain bike festivals is like we were mentioning, there is vans everywhere. Almost to where like, I'm not really sure which one is ours when like either Hannah takes it and goes somewhere or I take it. I feel like we get confused. You, you don't want to walk into the wrong van. That's something that my parents told me from an early age. So with that being said, really excited to be out here. It's like pre-festival. Everyone's still getting here, getting set up. This company called Zoic, which I don't know too much about, so really excited to learn about them today, invited us to a shuttle of a trail called Highline. So we're gonna join them, ride with some friends. Uh, really excited to be back out here. I love Sedona, I'm a hippie at heart. I got the long hair and I feel like the vortexes here do really well. On the hippie level, what, uh, what would you rate yourself as? A solid five. I feel like <laughs> I am a hippie, but also I like nice things and I don't know. I feel like also I'm not that big of a hippie. Yeah, well, you guys let me know. Explain. Can hippies have these big tubs of pretzels? Because I'm. I mean, I, we use plastic, so. Uh, that is true. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know in the comment section uh, what you think our hippie level is out of a scale of 10. 10 being you shower with like herbs, uh, and one being you have a real job. I just get out there, socialize, and share the journey with you guys. Eww. Also, if you guys can hit that like button, helps out the channel a ton, really appreciate it. But yeah, let's get after the wrap. Yeah, I mean, I don't rub hemp seed oil all over me every morning. So. <laughs> that sounds... I feel like that's just what hippie smells like. I went to Target and I was looking at deodorants and this one had hemp seed and I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is literally what hippies smell like. It smells <laughs> like BO. There's another van too. So that means one thing, Niner bike, white van white person what? oh yeah you got it. Dude, i haven't used sunscreen in so long yeah <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? So for those of you that don't know, this is Kyle Warner. He is one of the nicest mountain bikers in the industry. How are things for you? Uh, I'm excited for this weekend. It's just been kind of stuck in the winter up in Boise, Idaho. And then, yeah, now that it's sunny, 70 degrees, can't wait. So I can't wait to do some group rides, hang out with you guys, hang out with all the other YouTubers and just kind of have fun. Do you, are you actually excited to hang out with me and Hannah? Or are you just saying that because we have I was excited on? to see, you, you look like you've lost a lot of weight. And I'm excited to see your climbing skills now. Um, Hannah was calling me fat for a while, so I had to trim down. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good ride. So on your jersey, it looks like you got a couple of new sponsors. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Sponsors. I know they got mad at me, but yeah, I'm really lucky. I do a lot of uh, product development and feedback and stuff for different brands, and so I have a bunch of sponsors. And Fly Racing told me I can't add any more to my jersey, so oh, it's no. like booked up for the year. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I have a really good program this year. I mean, you got the whole van life set. You mind if we get a little bit of a tour? Yeah, for sure. So this is my blanket. This is nice. <laughs> um, so I tried to do a pretty simple van life. So basically, the bed folds down up there. I got some storage in here in this little bench. Oh, the, so that is a bed on the wall. Yeah, so the bed folds down. Oh, cool. And then these little arms kind of come out. So the bed will fold down, those arms come out, sets down there. Oh, so awesome. Yeah, so it's really simple. I tried to do it as easy as possible, and then I have a little garage in the back with yeah. the bikes, but it's just very simple. I lived out of this for a year, how it is, just kind of hanging out, going to city centers and going to Whole Foods a lot. But, so uh, dope. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So this is the shuttle company that's taking us up today. It's Hermosa Tours. And she's all the way up there. I would not be able to do her job. I'd be scared of heights and I'm also not strong enough to lift the bike up there. So we found these awesome shredders here. Um, I'm sorry. I know you guys just told me your name. I seem like I already blanked. It's Katie. Katie. Joanna. Joanna. But this thing is mental. <laughs> oh, I'm Katie. I'm from Canada. I like bikes and I like yoga and I like connecting with people. I live on the road and uh... Oh, you live in this full time? Yeah. So yeah. sick. That's yeah. so awesome. And are you just traveling around riding bikes? That's right. Well, I'm excited <laughs> for the van tour. Uh, where can people find you on social media? Uh, bike and Bend on Instagram. This van setup is mental. Yeah. So yeah, full tour coming soon. All right, so we found this awesome shredder too. Uh, Joanna, right? Yes. I got it right. Yes. And so you work for Hermosa Tours? Yep. 
It's, awesome. based, it's based out of, uh, well it's actually based out of Durango, that's where our main office is, but we have um, a station here in Sedona. We run half day tours, full day tours, all out of Over the Edge Bike Shop. So yeah, you can find them online or on Instagram or hermosatours.com. You riding my bike this ride? Yeah. It's fits at me, yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I just put the seat all the way down. How far is in the seat? Okay, you're gonna grab the handle. I'm not great at following directions. Go, go all the way down. So there I'm going go. down? Down lower, there you go. Yeah? Yep. And then I just go up? Yep. Oh, okay. It's not rocket science, but. Oh. <laughs> I'm so bad at following directions. It's my ADD. But everyone is here, and man, there are a ton of bikes on two shuttle trucks. Looks like it's gonna be a good day of shredding with everyone. Solid crew, solid mustaches. <laughs> so I do trial shows full time. So trials riding all about jumping over obstacles, keeping our feet on the pedals, lots of brake control, bike control. And I got a trailer with a portable set of obstacles. I travel all over the country performing my shows. I really like showing trials to the, the general public and educating on what it's about and getting them stoked on riding. All right, we are with the man behind today. Your name is Paul. Yes. And you own Zoic. I'm co-owner of Zoic. So Zoic is the original mountain bike lifestyle brand. We started over 25 years ago making gusseted bike shorts, performance shorts specifically for mountain biking. And so a gusset is the stretch panel that's in the inseam that kind of moves the seam away from the saddle so, and allows the short to stretch. When, and that was before stretch fabrics were really popular. We've pop, helped popularize those and uh, been part of the growth of the, the clothing sector of the sport. And uh, we continue to outfit riders who just have a passion for getting out on the trail and having a good time and feeling comfortable while they're riding. And I also, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but that girl over there, she's got a Sombrio jersey and fox shorts. <laughs> you think we should just leave her in the parking lot or? I, I think we'll we'll let her go on the ride today, but <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll let her try some Zoic out and see what, what she thinks in comparison. Okay, well, okay. Unfortunately, they didn't kick you out. Oh man. <laughs> and look at how many people are out here. Just so many rad bikes. Yeah. You are a really rad dude because you're the owner of Zoix or one of the co-owners son. Yeah. What's your name? Grayson. Brad, Grayson, how old are you? I'm 13. So, 13 years old? That's awesome. Yeah. I have to ask you a question. No one's listening right now. Is Zoic really that great? Is the clothes good? Or yeah, can you vouch for them? They're amazing. They're so comfortable. <laughs> okay. What bike are you riding? Uh, pivot switchblade. Oh, sick. So, yeah. How do you like it? It's amazing. It handles on jumps and tech and flow. It's pretty good all around bike. So we are starting our way up high line. Starts off with a techie bit. Woo! Should be a good ride. I will say we rode e-bikes yesterday. The e-bike was a little bit easier. I e yeah, <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> Look how awesome this crew looks. Yeah. What do you think Tell her out here. Yeah. Yeah. Highline, sweet. So I'm going up without the group right now. I want to set up and get some shots. Uh, in reality, a little bit of excuse too. There's a really techie climb here. I want to climb it on my own first. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of new people, but I also want to get some shots of the group. So. <laughs> So let me show you guys the climb a little bit. You have this kind of awkward little crux up here, it's steeper in person. And then you have to make your way up to this corner and then clean this corner into that chunk right there. So it, uh, it definitely is a challenge, but a challenge that a lot of riders can make. I just, I was breathing really hard. Gotta stay off those e-bikes for a little bit. To this trail, so ride it on a hardtail. We have a local on a hardtail. You guys might know him from hardtail party, showing us Woo. how it's done. Oh yeah, Steve. Good job, dude. Oh, oh no. You gotta redo it. Take two. Oh yeah. Dude, he rides a hardtail. He is more, man. I'm not skilled enough for that, but he is cranking it. Yeah, Steve. Good job, dude. Good to see you, man. See you on the channel. Awesome. Woo. Crushing it. Yes. So dope! Good Woo! job! Yes! We have a colorful Ritmo in action. Oh, crushing it. It's so rad. Awesome! Yes! Yeah. Boom! It had to have been the colors. I think colors make you faster. All right, we have the Zoic crew making their way up. See how smooth it is? He's looking really smooth. Awesome. 
Yes! yes. Woo! All right, we got Katie with the van making her way up. Van line. Yeah. <laughs> Dialed Norca. Oh, she's got it. Ah. Crushing it. She's not even breathing hard. What is wrong with me? I really have to stay off those e-bikes. All right, more Zoa crew coming on up. That was so rad with the i9 wheels. <laughs> But does she have the corner? That's the question. She's got it. Running for it. And she is gone. We made it to the top of the climb. Oh. <laughs> Insane views as always. We're in Sedona, so that's uh, for sure. But look, oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> so they're having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. How can you not? Even that dog. Just, you excited to be in Sedona? Yeah. yeah. How was your ride, dude? It was sick. That yeah. was fun. You want to go down and do some intervals? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, we're on. Okay, so we have history in the making here. This is one of the first mountain biker, or the first mountain biker in Sedona. The first. So awesome. And your name again was? I am Simon Bosman. What was the first ride? Um, actually, I believe it was an illegal ride. Oh, no. <laughs> I rode actually Mog's Draw, uh, tried to ride it. It was a, a super rustic trail and uh, fell in cactus and had those basket pedals. Uh, excuse me, had those basket pedals. I'm like, I've got to get rid of these things. These are death traps. Yeah. So, so anyway, yeah. So. And how long ago was that? Uh, about 1985. Like oh that. my god, I have to ask you something. Yeah, how old am I? Because your bike right here looks <laughs> really nice. How much has mountain bikes becoming this good changed over the years of riding? How, what, what are your thoughts well, on that? Well, you know, that's an interesting question because I can tell you something for absolute sure. I was just as stoked on those rigid bikes, my Raleigh Instinct, whatever the hell, it all the Schwinn, whatever the what kind of a high rise thing um, uh, as I am with rides and how the bikes are now because it was just an incremental step over nothing suddenly you had something and then it always gets better so that's how I've always looked at it just each bike you ever get is the best bike you ever had that was awesome <laughs> I have to ask you Simon uh, do you do social media at all or anything yeah we what's your social media I am I'm actually Simon says mountainbike.com yeah. I'm gonna put it right here link in description yeah. it was a pleasure meeting you dude cheers man yeah. Right, you guys know the drill. Hannah drops me. I just try to hold on. But the stoke is real. I'm just frothing over meeting, that sounds weird, but meeting Simon, the first mountain biker in Sedona. <laughs> Seems like a legend. Yeah, Hannah. So the top part of this trail is just super flowy, which is really rad. Nice little warm up for the tech to come. Oh man. I forgot what it's like to ride trails with insane views that are all so techy. It's kind of on your A-game the whole time, trying not to die. But also want to take in the scenery. Woo. Oh, down the chunk. Woo. Yeah. Oh man, you guys. What a fun trail. Or, or, All right, so Katie has find. one of the A-lines here down this thing. Basically, really big slab and really techy too. Sorry, I'm, and I'm she's going to tow I'm Hannah in. Right. So this is, is that freaking... that going on? I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. check the line. Yeah, Let's check the line. So what are we looking at, Katie? Uh, it's just an off-camber, quite steep uh, little rock line here with some prickly pears to the left. Oh man. And some sharp rocks to the right. Is that one easier? That, that one's easier, yeah. But, yeah, this one. Um, yeah, just a little right here. Slow, slow, slow. Looking ahead and then just kind of drop. Oh wow. Drop in at some chunk. Oh, that does look chunky. Yeah. That is more power to you. Okay, Hannah, you got this, Hannah. I'm, I'm going to sit this way. I'm, I'm videographer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one of the locals. Oh, awesome. Oh, rad. Colorful Ritmo. Yeah. Hannah and Katie are coming down. This should look really rad. Yeah, Katie. 
Yeah, Hannah. So dope. Dude, girl power. That was so rad. Yeah, good job. Okay, so this is the bottom of the chute. That's the top of the chute. Those are the riders up there. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Good job, Paul. Crushed it. Oh, in control. Oh yeah, enduro action. Oh, good job. Oh, whoa, that got close. <laughs> All right, we got Katie and Hannah coming down now. These girls are freaking crushing it. Yeah, Hannah. Yeah, yeah, Katie. Woo! God, so good. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, saved it. Dude, that was gnarly. Good, job. good save. Oh, you guys are crushing it. Yeah. This is Steve on a hardtail. So good, so good. Tackling the chunk. Yeah, Steve. Oh, rad. Oh, Gorilla Gravity getting rowdy. Oh, I see to the right. Yeah. Right there. There you go. Go, no, Katie. Go, yeah. no, Katie. Yeah, Katie. All right, she's going to make the kink up and over. So smooth. Man, way smoother than I can do it. Making his way down. Whoa. Nice. Outside. That's it, that's it. You got Through it. Through the king. Oh, this guy's got speed. Oh, this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, wow, he's gone. This is Chris. She is a freaking shredder. Chris. Yeah. 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 Crawling so smooth. Yeah. Oh, putting on a clinic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Charging, dude. Got it. Oh, wow. So this is the one and only trials rider. There it is. There's the trial skills. I believe it's Robbie crawling his way down there. It's not a trials bike, but he is freaking making that thing look easy. Oh, no. We have the kook coming down. And we have the hardtail following. So the ride is over. And of course, Sedona, a bunch of mountain bikers. Looks like the beers are already going. But yeah, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the pre-festivities to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. Uh, once again, I'll put all the links to everyone we rode with in Zoic in the description. Definitely go check them all out. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. How was the ride? Awesome. <laughs> Rad. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Ride awesome. Woo. So this is probably the most mountain biker cooler ever. It's just a bunch of beers and butter. Uh, we tried searching for Gatorades, but <laughs> it's Owen Salsa. So maybe I'll drink the Salsa. <laughs>